Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are taking a look at the Transformers Legacy Iguanus. I know he's a bit older, but I a, needed a quick toy to review and I couldn't do anything yesterday. My voice kind of hurt from the amount of loud talking I did. But I very much like this guy. He is very, very cool and kind of interesting for a bike former um we will get to that but taking a look at that wonderful head i love how they were able to mimic both a bit of if my camera will focus focus come on for the love of hmm apparently my camera doesn't like focusing on things uh, yeah that's the couch, damn it. It's focusing on the couch. But I very much like... There we go. There's the focus on the head. I very much like that. Like, this head somehow mixes robotic and organic quite well. Obviously, because they are mixing the pretender shell with the, uh, the actual robot. But I think that's actually really cool. I very much love the head. I love how the eyes are done in a very nice yellow... Unfortunately, they didn't paint the teeth, but that would have been really cool to just get like a Ninja Turtle snarl out of uh, out of his um, just kind of maw there. Get little spikes pointing at the sides of his helmet, kind of like I guess, <laughs> kind of like the Predator dreads. In a bit, you get the nice big shark fin kind of going on. Some very nice spiky detail here on the arms and the shoulders, which is very nice. You get. A very nice gold and red patterning, or sorry, bronze and red kind of patterning there on his uh, on his chest, and that uh, that also looks very nice. I do like how they were again able to mimic the pretender shell that this guy originally was with the uh, the robot inside. You also get the very nice, very like the detail that they put on the thighs are very cool. Like, just all that scaly detailing going down. That looks very nice. You also have some very nice kind of bronzish gold coloring here on the shins. And then the dyes are unpainted. I would have liked to have seen this part here done in the same kind of uh, coppery gold color. Just because that it would look a little bit nicer. Just in my opinion, I may end up taking a marker to it. I may not. It depends. Uh, for accessories, he does come with, uh, there we go, this unknown weapon of mass destruction. Now, all three of the um, original Legacy um, Scout core, core class figures, they each came with one of these. And when you combine them, they all created this really big pulsing sword thingy that you could give to Hot Rod or one of your larger figures. And now, that integration is actually really cool, but unfortunately, because uh, our boy Iguanus here kind of drew the short straw and got th what I'm going to call the hilt, he has a very awkward kind of weapon that kind of... It it's a bit funky. It looks more like it belongs attached to a blaster rather than being a blaster itself, you know? So, I usually don't have Iguanus holding this. I give him the Core Class Optimus's rifle. Because I just think that looks really good and it gives him a weapon. And because it's not, you know, full-scale Optimus Prime weapon, it's, you know, it works. It's a bit funky because you just have the G1 Prime kind of <laughs> teeny tiny handle going on a big boy handle. But yeah. For articulation-wise, he is a bit limited just due to being core class. He can look left and right, which is nice. He can't really look up or down, but that's mainly due to his head and just kind of where they have the ball joint. Arms can go out that far, so even though he's tiny, he can do a suck at Magnus. You get a ball joint here, so you get both elbow and a full 360 rotation, which is very cool. You can get him to go to look like he's ready to pump some iron. And actually, something I just noticed is if you look in here, you also have a little bit more mechanical detail. And that is really friggin' cool. 
You do get a waist swivel, which is amazing, especially because we normally didn't get something of this size. Ooh. Having a waist swivel, and we'll get to that in the comparison, you do get ball joints at the hips, so they can go out about that far, back that far. And again, the fact that the tail does not hinder leg movement is really nice. You also get 90 degree of bend at the knee, as well as full kind of 360 rotation at said knee. Because of ball joints, yes, and you also get a ball joint at the footsie. So, you can get him to do a lot of really cool sliding animations. You can get him kind of sliding into uh, into frame. Uh, if I was better at stop motion, oh, those, yep. But anyways, we will put him off to the side, and we will start off with the only other real kind of core class I got, Wheelie, because I don't have um, his... Uh, I do not have either rod, uh, hot rod or the um, the flying guy, the the flying rat bat guy, which I'm starting to think I may end up getting because I realize I ha almost have the entire cult of um, I'm gonna call them the cult of calamity because I can't remember uh, the actual name. Oh, uh, the cult of Thundertron, I think. Uh, he was the guy who. I'm specifically talking about the IDW comics. He was the guy who, um, uh, who bludgeon, uh, Iguanus, I'm pretty sure Skullgrin, and the flying guy all worshipped because he invented the pretender technology, then went insane. So that guy. So I want, I kind of want the other guy only so that I can uh, have that, uh, the entire cult. Yeah. So there is him with Wheelie. Here he is with another tiny guy, our boy Ransack. And I have to admit, the fact that these two came from two totally different uh, eras and yet are somehow still the same size. And really, the, they have almost the same... Actually, they have the exact same amount of articulation. Which is kind of fascinating when you take a look at that. Because it was all just kind of ball joints and hinges back in the day. Today. But yeah, so there's that. And here we have him with another bike former in Deluxe Class RC. So they look good together. And because, you know, I mentioned it, Chekhov's gunning it here. Here he is next to another one of his pretender friends, Skullgren. And also we have the leader of the cult in Bludgeon. In fairness, I kind of just wanted an excuse to bring out Bludgeon again, because I really like his Halloween deco. But yeah, so that is it for that. Now, on to the transformation. So, to start off with, you are going to come to the back here and uh, open up the backpack, I guess. Rotate the entire waist section around, like so. Then you want to play around with the ball joints a bit here. So you want the wheel orientation to kind of go... Like that. Then you want to take the legs, rotate them around so that the knees are facing upwards. Put them all the way down like so. And then you have a tab right here that will fit into a slot right here on the tail. And you just kind of tab that in. Tab it in. Oh, come on. Thank you. And then you want to take the feet, and there is a hole right here at the bottom of the foot that will fall into this slot right here. And that will connect everything together, like so, like so. And you just do the same on the other side. Like so. Oh, you bugger. Ah, there we go. And like so. Now, to finish up, you want to take the arms and bring them back, like so. And you just want to... Tab them in. So there's a hole right here, just in the upper shoulder area, and that will tab into this kind of outstretched part right here. I want to just tab that in on both sides. There we go, there we go. Then we connect the fists. So there's a five millimeter port right here that will just fit into that little socket right there. 
Then you want to lift up this entire armature here. That will thunk into place. And you want to close up the uh, headpiece there. And if you wish, you can store the gun right up top, like so. And here you have Iguanus in his vehicle mode. I'm just going to put him like that. There we go, so that he can stand. And yeah, I, he's all right. Um, I'll put the... Uh, Fly just flew through my shot. Mother fluffer. Put this right back. And honestly, he's he's alright. I'm I'm sorry, but the vehicle mode is uh, I don't like harping on vehicle modes. I, I really don't. I don't like harping on toys that I think are fun in one mode, but kinda meh in the other. Except for Earthrise Megatron, I will bash that fluffer till the end of time. Because my god is that one just... It takes an already pretty good mold and just fluffs it up. <sighs> Anyways, my hatred for that mold... For that specific remolding out of the way. This version of... Or this mold for Iguanus is a bit too... Lopsided... Or... It doesn't have a proper, like, kickstand or wheelbase. Like, it'll stand decently, kind of, sort of, but, like, one little wobble on the table and, like, you have a hard enough time trying to get him to to just kind of stand up like so. And also the fact that it doesn't really kind of make it look like a motorcycle. Like, I, I get it's supposed to be a, a Cybertronian motorcycle, but even still... It kind of reminds me more of the um oh god the uh the accelerator mode modes in um in Beast Wars. Like the way that Rat Trap would turn into like a mini rat rod or uh Megatron would have the hover uh the air turbines that let him fly around. That that's what this reminds me of. It's more of a let's go a little bit faster kind of mode than a regular beast mode would be. Unfortunately, you don't even get, like, a decent beast mode. <laughs> you, you can't even really do a beast mode with this guy. Well, actually, hold up. Arms down, wheel kind of. And you can kind of do that, I guess. Put the legs down, too, but then he just... Then he's just a lizard sticking his ass out, and that's a little awkward. Yeah, nah, it, 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 unfortunately, where this mold shines is robot mode. It fails in vehicle mode because it's not really a vehicle, unfortunately. The, like, it rolls well enough. It does do that. I like the red on the wheels. The red on the wheels is very nice. It adds a very nice contrast to all of the purple and the gold, and it's a nice secondary color. On the flip side, however, I feel like there should have been a little bit more thought into how to really make this guy work in both modes. Maybe give him a proper deluxe instead of a core class. Because that, that unfortunately, is where I feel like this toy fails, is just in being a core class figure. Not saying core classes are bad. I think they work great when they are given... When it's figures that... Uh, whose alt modes make sense to be in core class. Wheelie, for example, is actually a really good one. Like, yes, there are still problems with this wheelie mold, only really being the hands. But again, that's it. For a core class figure, you get a vehicle mode that's actually very nice and compact and well-designed and still looks like a vehicle. And the only real problem are just the hands poking out. But even then, you can still kind of just imagine those as just like really weird futuristic bumpers or thrusters. There are very easy ways for you to augment your own perception of the toy just by, hell, not even looking at them. Like from the front, this looks fine. From the front, this still looks like crap, unfortunately. And from the side, it's even worse. Again, just a little bit more thought, I feel like would have made this... To not not I'm not saying that you know 
what they did was bad. I'm, I'm not. Like, it is a fun toy to play around with in robot mode. In vehicle mode, it's a bit chonky, as I said. But still, another kind of... Now, again, here's Ransack, but again... Here's how you do a cyber or Cybertronian vehicle mode right. The wheelbase in and of itself is so much larger than the cork than this guy's uh, vehicle mode that he's able to stand freely without needing a kickstand, and that would make sense. Like the the wheel the size of the wheels on this guy are a lot bigger than on Iguanus. So I feel like if they had a and I feel like this kind of shape would have worked for Iguanus too. Like if they had of just kind of, I guess, taken the cat file of this and made some, you know, improvements in the design and some, you know, a little bit more tweaking, we could have gotten a very nice Iguanus that has the stability of Ransack. Again, I know Ransack is a deluxe from Cybertron twenty. Oh god, odd eight. Twenty odd eight, I think. Two thousand seven, eight, and around there. But yeah, that. So there's that. Here we have him with Deluxe RC. And yes, I know people don't like this mold. However, again though, for the bike mode, like you can see how like different the design their the English hard why the design philosophy is here. You know, it, it, I think this does not work. This does work. That I also another bike former, and now we bring out the other, the other two very nice members of the team, or not team, but the cult, <laughs> the great powerful cult. And yeah, they now they do look good together. All three of these look good together, and. I find it funny how there are two tanks and then just the tiny motorcycle and the tiny flyer dude. And yeah, they honestly, they do work together. I think they look pretty good. Yeah, so there's that. Now, you can also, you know, it is 5mm port compatible, so you can get, you know, a pretty decent turret on top here. You can also turn around and make this the turret if you want. Do what you want is your toy. Yeah, so there's that. You can also just take the entire top off here and just kind of leave that to the side. And it doesn't really fix anything. <laughs> like weapon storage, to be truly honest, this would make sense for a, you know, Cybertronian vehicle in the middle of war. You just kind of plant the gun where you can, where you can. And then you have this kind of version just to go really quickly. But yeah, um... Unfortunately, Iguanus isn't the best. Um, in terms of vehicle mode, in robot mode, I can't recommend this guy enough. He's a fun little toy that honestly kind of deserves a deluxe. I feel like he, he deserves a deluxe toy only for the fact that it would fix a lot of the problems I feel like uh, this core class kind of gives him. And I feel like that's what a lot of uh, reviews I have kind of seen say as well um i can't remember what emgo said in his uh it's been a while since i actually watched emgo's uh emgo's review uh, i'm not sure what i don't i don't even think that toy guy um if he did iguanas if he did my apologies uh sorry dude uh but yeah so that is it for iguanas and to be truly honest I say get this guy. He looks freaking cool in robot mode. Um, but yeah, the vehicle mode is kind of just where it, it lacks, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, so that is it for today's review. Um, I'm going to take a couple of days. And I want to work on a little uh, on a little project. Um, something I kind of brought up in the last video. Um, but yeah, so... I hope you have a good rest of your day, night, or whenever you watch this video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone.